Mr. Hamilton to help make sure we get a good contract. I want to introduce Kyle Pag, our Secretary of Treasury. Let's give it up. Yeah. First, I want to thank all the brothers and sisters for being out here, supporting our brothers who are employed here and suffering under new conditions here at the Hamilton. So give yourselves a round of applause for standing up for family time to support of your brothers. So our members here who are employed at the Hamilton for many years once had good jobs. But since the new building owner took over and brought in new management and these new service contractors, they have, they have seen their pay slash and their good benefits, their health benefits that they relied on for themselves and their families, their retirement future taken away from them. Oh. It has become impossible for them and their families to survive under the new conditions that have been imposed on them by this greedy landlord. Most of the tenants here have come out and stand in support of these workers. These are tenants who have seen them every day, day in and day out, at their service for many, many years, making their life here comfortable, safe, and secure. And so that's why they stand with these workers and their fight for dignity, respect, and now justice to get the standards that they've had and that the rest of the building service workers around them enjoy restored. And that this landlord doesn't get away with being able to collect money like $7,000 an apartment and pay workers poverty wages. That's bullshit. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. All right. So that's why these tenants have come out, stood with them, and stand by them today in their, in their fight for justice and for dignity. And many elected officials in this city stand with these workers because they know what it is to have good quality uh, family sustaining jobs in New York City. You can't survive without them. And many of them have signed on, over 55 elected officials, have signed a public letter supporting the workers here. One of those officials, a good friend and a fighter for working families in this city, member, council member Ben Callos, who's with us today. <laughs> and we are very grateful for him for standing up with these workers and coming out today with us to reckon and give these workers the recognition that they've earned and deserved about for the work that they've done in maintaining a lifestyle for this for this tenancy here and making this building uh, safe and secure and clean and comfortable for its residents. And when it comes to taking care of our families, we will continue to fight for good jobs and dignity and benefits for workers in this city. Right. Yeah. This is a luxury building. You can look at the building, you can look up at this tower that stands over East End Avenue. If this is a luxury building, again, getting rent of $7,000 a month, and this new owner has the, the audacity, the audacity to slash their wages and benefits. He's making obscene profits here, but yet he wants to pay the workers who on the back, on their backs, keep this place running. Poverty wages? Is that right? No! Is that right? No! It's neither right nor just. And that's why we stand here together in support of these workers. Around you, you see many other hardworking members of 32BJ who work in buildings in this area. And I want to thank you all again for coming out and standing with your brothers in support of their fight for the dignity and respect that they've earned and deserved. And so with that, I want to bring up a brother, my brother Hank, who's worked here for 26 years. 26 years he's invested his life in this building. And only 
only to be disrespected, to have his wages slashed, his health care taken from him, his retirement future snatched from him, and he will tell you personally what that impact has done both to him, his family, and his co-workers. Brother Hank, the floor is yours.
Right. We will hold them accountable. We will continue with good friends like Councilman Carlos standing with us to hold their feet to the fire, to do the right thing by workers in the city, yeah. to not come into our city and get rich off the backs of our workers without giving them dignity and respect on the job. They will know what it is to be in a fight with 32 BJ. Yeah. Because if you want to pick a fight with us, that's all good. Because we'll be in that end until justice is served. One union, one fight. One union, one fight. One union, one fight. We will demand dignity and respect for these workers. And again, I can't thank our members for standing up standing together as you always have and continue to do. And again, our great leaders in our city council, our elected leaders like Ben Taylor. Thank you, brothers and sisters. Thank you so much for being here.